Now let's talk about uh, throttling. What this does is, um, in many cases, if you have, um, uh, let's say you have a mailing program and it's a mass mailer uh, that sends a lot of messages at the same time sitting on your local computer and uh, sending through this server, for example, or on your local network and sending through this server, then your bottleneck, uh, usually most of the time, your bottleneck is your outgoing connection speed. If you're sitting, for example, on a residential area um, ISP provider, uh, then your speed of connection is going to be, most of the time, about one megabit per second outgoing. <clears throat> now I'm talking about, just pay attention here, because I'm talking about outgoing. Uh, I'm talking about you connecting from your server to somebody else. Right? The speed of that, connecting from you to somebody else, not from somebody else to you. Because most of the ISPs, they advertise, uh, uh, like, we give you 16 megabit per second, right? But that's from internet to you. But from you to internet is usually one megabit. Unless you have a corporate internet connection, uh, you will have about one megabit or even less uh, speed of connection. Now, <clears throat> this is going to be your bottleneck. So if you want to install uh, uh, this server and send it uh, like in large quantities, then you would need to be able to send it quickly and you would need to have uh, a bigger outgoing pipe. So if you don't have that and you don't want to purchase it, then uh, what happens usually is you send a lot of messages to the server and the server accepts them as fast as it can and it's very fast. The server is actually very, it's like blazingly fast. And uh, especially if your program sits on the same computer, it accepts it very, very quickly. So effectively what you're doing, what you just did is you just stuff the queue with your messages and nothing else. It doesn't mean that the messages are delivered. It doesn't mean that the messages went out to the target services. It just means they're sitting in the queue in here, in, in this queue, right? There are files on your computer, nothing else. It doesn't mean that they are fully delivered to the destination because you send the message, it's accepted by the server uh, as fast as it can accept it and stored in the queue. And then after that, the server will try to deliver this message. Now, some messages cannot be delivered immediately. They will be stuck in the queue. Some messages are temporarily rejected and so on. And also the speed of outgoing connection is usually, usually uh, so much smaller than the speed of your uh, computer, of your CPU, which just handles your messages very quickly, then uh, it's just going to be stuffing in the queue. Now, in order to prevent this from happening, I created uh, this section, what is called thr throttling. Uh, if you enable it, and it's enabled by default, um, what will happen is you need to worry about these two numbers. So after the, the number of messages in the queue uh, will get larger than this. See, it says start throttling after number of unsent messages is bigger than. So after your queue has more than 100 messages in this case, and you can change that, uh, what will happen is every command that the SMTP client sends to me is going to be delayed 1,000 milliseconds, right? So one second, basically. So anytime that the server can, uh, the mail client connects to me and starts sending something, after they connect and start sending something, <clears throat> if you send more than 100 messages and they're just sitting in the queue idly uh, without being delivered, then uh, it's going to start delaying your incoming connection um, by a second every time until the number of messages in the queue gets lower than uh, 100. And then it starts sending normal speed. But what this does is allows the queue to be emptied, at least at the normal speed, at the normal pace, because then um, immediately after 100 messages are in the queue, it's going to start delaying it. And 101st message uh, will, be, will not be accepted until, uh, well, it's actually going to be accepted, but it's going to be delivering much faster now. So <clears throat> it's going to equalize the speed of sending with the speed of receiving. And that, that way you actually have your natural speed of sending. 
And you can see uh, that it's impossible to send it any faster than this because uh, because of your outgoing connection speed. Unless you have a DC24 pipe, uh, fiber optic fi uh, or dark fiber pipe uh, directly coming to your computer, uh, it's not possible to send uh, any faster than this. So that's what the thro throttling does for you. And it's very useful. You should leave it enabled because it doesn't kick in unless you're, you have a lot of messages in the queue. And you can adjust it, of course, but uh, 100 is a good number. So if you have 100 messages unsent in the queue, right, sitting there unsent, it's a good number to start throttling because uh, what's the point of, see, of uh, having 100 messages in the queue that are not delivered? And you pile up more and more and more and more that still they won't be delivered anyway. So it prevents this from happening and prevents you from overloading the server. 